Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lexi and today we're talking about luxury Christmas gifts under $1,000. Um, so I have a lot of eye candy for you here today. A lot of really, in my opinion, great suggestions uh, for Christmas gifts. Um, some more on the affordable side, some definitely towards the upper end of the $1,000 budget. Um, and at the very end, I have a little unboxing for you so if you're interested in that stay till the end um, but without further ado let's get started so I broke it out into let's see one two three four categories um, the first one being things that you can wear second being wallet slash key holders third mini bags and fourth beauty so I did just pick things from my collection um, just because I thought it would be easier to show you and give you like my opinion and my honest review on them. Um, so I'm sure there are other amazing options. These are just things that I have in my collection. So glad we got that out of the way. Now um, let's start with, I actually think it, wow, yeah, my cheapest thing here, which is honestly shocking to me because this item has gotten kind of out of control in terms of pricing, but I did go to the Gucci holiday party um, earlier this week, and I did pick up a little something. You can blame this on Cassie Thorpe. Um, I got these Gucci tights, which I guess I can't really give you my opinion on these because I haven't worn them yet. Um, they are fairly new, but I think that they're awesome. They're like very subtle, but they give like the perfect amount of pop to an outfit. Um, I'm not crazy about the designer tights that are just like really in your face. Um, I think these are subtle enough though for me to wear them. Um, and when they rip, I will cry. But I won't cry that much because they did only cost, only, it's a lot of money, especially for tights, but they cost $100. Um, so, great option. Highly recommend. Um, next we have... A designer belt and I will say I do not own a Gucci belt did I own a Gucci belt previously yes I did I sold it because um, there was starting to become too many people that I knew that had them and I no longer wanted it because I just stopped wearing it like one time literally me and my friend were going to dinner and I think we had the exact same outfit on like same Gucci belt same black pants black shirt and I was just like yeah she's gotta go so the belt not the friend <laughs> um so i would recommend uh a salvatore ferragamo belt i think this is absolutely stunning um and it did cost me 450 dollars um but i think it's beautiful and i liked it so much that i got two sizes too big and then i got it at Saks, so they punched like three additional holes in it for me so i have a lot of room to gain some holiday weight um, and then it's like adorned in these crystals which are really really pretty I think so it's just like a nice little pop and I love the Ferragamo logo because if you're not like super familiar with designers you don't you don't really know I guess um, like I wear this to work and I don't feel uncomfortable so that's a big plus for me so again $450 great belt definitely more expensive than the Gucci one but I think it's better quality and also not as basic. If you have one, I'm sorry, but it is kind of basic. <laughs> so next, I would say a really good gift, especially for Christmas, is a designer scarf. And this one's my personal favorite one. Uh, it's from Chanel and it's gorgeous. It's like a monogrammed with these like metallic CCs, which I think are really pretty. Um, and I honestly, I think it's black with a blue metallic, but it could very well be navy blue, and I just don't know. But I'm pretty sure it's black. Anyway, I wear it with black, so it looks really good. Um, I don't know, it's just like the perfect accessory, uh, especially in New York. It's really, really cold. Keep your neck warm, but still super stylish. Great gift. Don't know the exact price, but I'm pretty positive it was like $550 which is so crazy expensive for a scarf but I have I just got this in like October November no I think it's October and I've already worn it probably 30 times so highly recommend 
All right, so that takes up the things you can wear category. Um, and then we're moving into like the wallet type key holder category. Um, and in terms of key holders, I have three options for you because I know like people do not always like the same things. My favorite key holder personally is the six ring key holder from Louis Vuitton. Um, it does have this slip pocket and I keep like my insurance card back there. Um, but for me, it really just serves the purpose of holding my keys. Like simple as that, mainly to protect um, the interior linings of my bags or my other small leather goods. It doesn't have to be super fancy, but it does the job and it's also really freaking cute. So we love this. And this comes in at $250 currently. So highly recommend. Um, next, it's probably the cheapest of three, definitely is because it's $205. Um, this is the Louis Vuitton clay or key pouch. Um, so what you can do is you can open this, I'm sure you know, and put your keys on there and then either tuck the chain inside, attach it to another bag. Um, I personally use this as a business card holder. Um, and if I'm going out or something, I could just put my one key to my apartment on this chain um, and tuck it inside and just carry this with me. So it's really versatile. I also really like... Um, if I'm going to like a concert or something and want um, my money to be really close to me, I open this um, little keychain part and I loop it on the loops of my jeans, on the belt loops, and I just have it hanging. It's really cute. It's really secure. So love that. Um, I think that's probably one of the best gifts I could recommend because it's really useful. It comes in wide variety of patterns. I just happen to have monogram. You could get Dami a Ben, Dami Azur. Um, love it. So for Chanel, which is obviously the most expensive of the three because, well, I, it's Chanel, I guess. Um, it is all leather, so that makes a difference. But this one's beautiful. It's uh, like a shiny caviar uh, with light gold hardware. And this comes in at $675, which I think is so much money for a card or a, like, key slash card holder. Um, I mean, I bought it nonetheless, so I guess we'll stop talking about that now. Um, but what I like about this is the opening is really cool. So it's super secure. Just like twist it around like that, opens, and just close it. Um, and it holds so many cards, which I love. So right now I have like some cards in here, coins, um, and then you can just loop your keys here and tuck it in, zip it up, or you could leave your keys hanging and have more like of a keychain look. But I love that. Do I highly recommend it? Mm, no, probably not. Like, I love the look of it, and I think it is useful for sure. But I would probably go with the clay over it because it's, um, you know, a third of the price. And... I just, I don't know, it, I have a hard time paying like almost $700 for this when I could literally get a Louis Vuitton bag for that. So, I don't know, it is really pretty. So if you can afford it and this is your jam, go for it. Uh, in terms of wallets, I have just two small ones. Um, I know you can get like full size wallets from Louis Vuitton. I had a Clements wallet. I just figured I wasn't like, I figured out that I'm not a full-size wallet girl, so I have two smaller options for you. One is just the flat card holder from Chanel. This was $425. Um, and this is from, like, 19A collection or something like that. I got it last fall. Haven't used it a ton just because I'm worried about the color, but it is really pretty. Um, and I do love it. Just, I don't know, I've thought about selling it. Let me know if you're interested. Um, and then next, one of my personal faves is my Gucci Dionysus card holder on a chain. I don't have the chain on it right now, um, but it attaches right here. It's short, so you can just hold it like a tiny little bag, um, and it holds so much. So kind of staying on that theme, but moving more into mini bags, I have my Gucci Dionysus Super Mini in black with the crystal adorned hardware. Um, this comes in at $830. The 
just regular monogram can. This one is, it is a little bit cheaper, but I prefer the leather one just because I really like um, the crystal look. And really cool thing about this is if you were to have both of these, the chain is detachable. So you could take the long chain from the super mini, detach it, and put it on this one. Just wear it crossbody if you're looking to carry literally nothing but your cards and some money. Um, next, my All Star SLG, as we all know, is my Louis Vuitton mini pochette. This comes in at $310. Um, and this is just the perfect catch all. Um, right now, I just have some like lip products, some eye drops, um, a tie to go pen an extra pair of contacts and there's still so much space so I just you know transfer this from bag to bag and I pretty much have everything I need so I love that really do um and then last for mini bags and this is a hard one because it's so hard to find and I know that I'm sorry um but if you can get your hands on it pochette accessoire and this is $525 um, and what I love about this is that it fits so much, um, and this fits pretty comfortably on your shoulder, um, but you can also take the strap off and, like, replace it with another one. So, it's stuffed right now, but they're, man, you can, you can pack that right up. So, yes, if you can get your hands on this, don't even think twice, just buy it. I mean, it's just, it's great. Um, so that wraps it up for mini bags. Now, moving on to our last category before my Chanel unboxing. Um, this is beauty. So I have makeup, a perfume, and a makeup vanity case, kind of. Um, so we'll start with the vanity case because I'm sure this is what people are most interested in. But this is the Louis Vuitton Mini Nice, or Nice Mini, and this is $725. I love this um and I traveled with it for Thanksgiving and it is awesome like I think people probably use it for toiletries more so speaking but I use it as a makeup bag um because it does have a wipeable lining and this thing is amazing it's like fits all of my makeup could fit a lot more I'm sure um and I love the top handle I can kind of just set it on the counter, open it up, see what I need, and then, you know, do my makeup, be done with it. And it's just so aesthetically pleasing. Like, how cute is this? And I'm sure if I wanted to, I could just carry it as a little mini bag. So this is, I think, so reasonably priced. I'm sure Louis Vuitton's going to raise the price on it. So if you can get your hands on it, do it. It's awesome and would be an amazing Christmas gift. Now moving on to probably the most, like, Christmas gifty items that I'm recommending. Um, we'll talk about this one first. This is so cute. This is the Dior Holiday um, lipstick case. Um, and this came in at $175, which is a lot. It's definitely a lot. But it comes with six lipsticks, the mirror. Um, and then you can always just take out this insert and um, use it as a clutch because it zips. So, I mean, $175 for a Dior bag clutch. I think that's pretty reasonable and you get six lipsticks. That's pretty cool. And it's just really pretty. So, would highly recommend this for Christmas. I think this is an amazing option. Um, and I just love looking at it. So, that again was $175. And then last but not least... We have one of the coolest things, which is this Louis Vuitton like perfume set, travel perfume set. And what's amazing about this is that it comes with this travel pump. So you just unscrew it from the bottom. Um, you can see that I used it a bit, but just take one of these off and it comes with four refills. Stick that up there and then you're good to go. And this is like a very strong closure, so I'm not really worried about this leaking or anything like that. Um, but it's just, it's really pretty. Um, I think it's its awesome. It's really good value for what you're getting. Um, and it, it was $250. And 
this is like the equivalent on these four like tubes of just a regular size Louis Vuitton perfume. So I think that's really cool because then you can just use it for traveling, um, bring it on the go. I always have it with me generally in my mini pochette. So highly recommend. So that um, kind of ends our luxury portion um, in terms of gifts at least. Although I do want to mention another really good gift idea if you're not looking to spend a lot of money um, are like bag accessories. So I have just a couple of things. So one, organize my bag is this really awesome uh, website where you can get like chains for your bags, um, pom poms, all sorts of stuff. Um, I'll leave my discount code below. Um, but they sent me some things that I thought you guys would be really interested in. Um, they have like these pom poms, which are so soft. Like I can't explain it. It's probably like the best quality one I've ever gotten. Um, and I just put on my Speedy Nano. They have it in so many different colors, but like how cute is that? Like so cute. Um, so like if you just want to get something for a friend, maybe a pom pom or really awesome chains that they have, um, which you can attach to like this pochette or use for a crossbody in the multi pochette. And I'll insert some slideaways of me modeling these for you guys because I do have like a wide variety um, of lengths and styles. Um, they're just really good quality, um, super shiny. It looks a lot like the Felici chain if you have a Louis Vuitton one. Um, it's just very good quality. And then we also have this one right here, but again, I'll show you what they look like. Um, so yeah, I think that would be a really good idea. And if you're more on the like expensive bag strap bandwagon, um, this is a really pretty option from HRH Collection. Um, the only thing I don't love about it is the length. I do wish it was just a little bit longer, so it could be crossbody, but this is like a perfect shoulder strap length. Um, and I often put this on my pochette, and again, I'll show you what that looks like. So, one more. I was looking for a chain like this, which I got from Organize My Bag, and it is just awesome. Like, it really makes unzipping it easy. Um, it looks really cool. I'd, I just highly recommend bag chains in general. Um, if you're looking to spend less money because, I don't know, they just like really spice up a bag, make it unique, make it your own. So that kind of ends the gift portion. Um, but now on to this. So quick backstory. Um, I've been looking for a pair of boots. Yeah, I know it's a pair of boots, but I've been looking for a pair of boots, not from Chanel, but just from anywhere. Um, for a very long time now, and I cannot find anything that I liked. So I kind of just gave up, and then when I saw that the Chanel was having their sale today, I texted my essay. I was like, oh, it's on sale, and he was like, shoes, clothes, and I was like, hmm, okay, well, and shoes. So, oh, look at how beautiful the holiday packaging is. It, it doesn't really scream like Christmas to me, but I think it's really pretty. Um, so I don't even want to unbox it. It's so pretty. Okay, well, we're going to do it anyway. And how proud are you guys of me for actually waiting? I did not unbox them. This is not like a redo. This is an original. Um, so we'll go ahead and open this. Don't even want This is just like, look at this camellia. It's so cute. I like when stopped talking about the camellia, so he actually gave me an extra one that was like un unused. No, he's the best. So, these are them. They're stunning and they're beautiful and perfect. Only non perfect thing is that they're not my size, they're a half size big, but that's okay because I can wear a really thick sock. Um, yeah, I love them. They're so, I'm gonna have to get these resold. These are really soft soles. Okay, I'm a little nervous about that now. All right, guys, that's it. Um, have a beautiful weekend wherever you are, and I will see you next week.